uh, warm introduction and um, um, happy to be here. Um, thanks very much, everyone, for, for joining. So today we would like to talk about a little bit, well, it is more for you to get a little bit more familiar with, um, with one of the technologies. Of course, there are many technologies in the, in the working world and technologies have changed the way we work, live and play. Uh, one of the technologies which is coming up um, quite in a, in a quite good way is artificial intelligence. It is making changes in so many different, different ways. So the idea of today's conversation is um, to get you a little bit familiar with this technology, artificial intelligence, like what are some of the things which are happening um, using AI in the work of uh, generally in life, in work, in different type of business, in different industries. So what this will do, it will, it will make you think about uh, technologies overall. Uh, what is the role of technologies in uh, going forward? And uh, maybe looking with the lens of AI, and then maybe whatever you want to do in your life, whatever career you have there, uh, maybe you would want to rethink how you want to prepare for that career going forward, uh, because more and more technologies are going to maybe come in the future also. So with that uh, brief uh, brief intro, I'm going to just uh, share my share my screen uh, with you guys. And then we are going to um, run through some some uh, some ideas uh, on artificial intelligence. Um, please feel free if you want to add anything um, in the conversation. Feel free to do that. Um, whatever, just make yourself comfortable, and we should be fine. Uh, yes. So um, just confirm that you guys can see the screen now. It says artificial intelligence. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, let's let's look at let's look at start looking at what is the role of AI in various um, various activities in business world and and so on. So as we are speaking, artificial intelligence can can read. Yeah. So you are looking at this story. Facebook is now using AI to sort content for quicker moderation. So what AI is doing like Facebook, so many people are using Facebook, they are writing so many things there. And as they are writing, artificial intelligence can pick up the content and read it. So for example, let's say, you know, uh, there, is some, there is some person who is thinking of some negative thoughts and they are sharing those negative thoughts with their, on their feed. Uh, they are posting pictures which are maybe a little bit depressing. So they are maybe showing a sign of a little bit of a depression, something like that. So now AI, using AI, uh, Facebook or any place where a lot of data is, uh, people are putting in data, they can look into that and then they can flag it and then maybe reach out to the person if they want any type of help. Yes, that type of activity can take place using AI because it, is, it, is, it has already the ability to read. In other activities, they are using it, for example, which is common. I, I told you something which maybe you did not think about, like depression and stopping someone from suicide. Yeah. So that is they have this capability. But how they are using it, like if you put something which does not abide by their rules, you put in some, uh, for example, uh, nudity, you put in some type of bad pictures, which is not good for the for the for the way they want to set up their their facebook environment they want to flag it and maybe they want to take it off or whatever they want to do so this is this is something which you want to you know think about like before what was happening is that people at facebook they would hire people and they would manually go through the text one by one and so on but as the number of people increasing increases on social media and so on uh, now you can use some some machine learning uh, there some type of some type of data analysis there and looking at keywords and then uh, from there a machine can learn how to you know interpret that and then flag it so this is something which you might want to think about so ai can write yes uh, look at this interesting story japanese japanese ai writes a novel nearly wins a literary literary award 
So think about what goes through uh, the process of writing uh, a novel. Uh, think about that. Uh, it is kind of a creative process. So creativity. So we were saying um, like this is in the in the in the uh, in the in the media that creativity is something which is uh, which is very close to human beings and maybe machines and these type of robots and those things they cannot be as creative as as human beings can be and that is absolutely correct I'm not going to debate that uh, yes human beings at this point in time uh, we can definitely say that uh, we are more creative but we are thinking about going forward what are some of the possibilities so right now um, uh, ai has already written some type of uh, pieces and i'm going to show you some other things after this so novel the so novel is like a creative piece uh, and of course it has not done it on its own it is co-authored co by ai when you will read the details uh, of this story and as i am talking about it if any story uh, you uh, you like any story or something feel free to take the picture screenshot of the of the of the thing and maybe you can read uh, later uh, about that in detail like i'm just scanning through some of the things with you yeah so look at this now the washington post robot reporter has published 850 articles in the in the past year I want you to take a moment to think about that. 850 articles in the past year. And we are not talking about something in the future. These are some of the things which has already happened using artificial intelligence. So now you want to think about it. Like, for example, if there are some friends who are interested in journalism and they want to write uh, for the newspapers, yes, of course, uh, the way humans can write as we speak is better than better than a robot or artificial intelligence can write as we speak but things are progressing in this in this in this in this field and going forward they will be it is a possibility we no one knows what is going to happen in the in the future for sure but it is a possibility that for there, there will be a lot of task where uh, technology is going to uh, supersede human ability uh, and there will of course be some areas where human beings will be better than technology so you want to think about these things as you are thinking about your career uh, uh, because you if you if if you want to become a journalism uh, uh, journalism student right now what you should be learning during your degree because going forward maybe the maybe the regular type of stories uh, would be written by bot and it would be done on a wider scale uh, right now maybe the bigger companies like washington post and so on are doing it but in the future uh, maybe it will be more widespread and th again think about the number 850 uh, it is it is a lot of number and this story if you can look at the date it is coming from 2017 so you would want to research what are what are, what are the things happening right now Forbes is building more AI tools for its reporters. Yeah, so you can look into this story now in more detail when you have time. Like there are companies, uh, publishing houses, which are maybe, maybe, maybe AI will not write the complete story on its own. Maybe and it will be a combination of of a human journalism journalist and AI journalist, and uh, there will be some things like collecting data, uh, collecting information, what is happening online, making a quick report on that. And then the human being can look into that report, which is generated by AI, and then finalize it, um, and so on. Yes, so think about that. Automated system can rewrite outdated sentences in Wikipedia articles, for example. This is very interesting if you think about it. Uh, because let's say that you have already written up some essay, some article, whatever it is, a piece, and then you can use AI to update it, keep on updating it. Yeah. So, for example, I make I make a I make a I make a PowerPoint slide, for example, PowerPoint deck for artificial intelligence, just like you are seeing now. And then I now I can use AI to look into the recent stories, what is happening in any field whatever it is whatever i'm looking for and it will automatically look for those stories 
uh, and of course you will have to bring in machine learning and those type of things so uh, so the machines can learn to pick up um, those type of stories which you are looking for and then help you revise the revise the article maybe that is something which 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 will be which will become norm in the future so essentially what i am trying to say that whatever field you are going to pick whatever you want to do right now most of you are maybe bachelor students uh, you we want to do for example finance you want to think that how how the finance industry is going to change in the future and what are some of the skills which you would require more in the future because many jobs would be taken by bots using artificial intelligence and there are so many other technologies also and we'll talk about it as we as we move more into the into the presentation microsoft is cutting dozens of msn news production workers and replacing them with artificial intelligence 29th of may 2020 uh, uh, yeah so uh, it is this again this story is coming from um, last year you can call more than one year so microsoft is cutting dozens of so think about this how how the job market can be affected in a very short period of time it is a possibility again no one knows how the future would look out but this is how human beings prepare for the future they look at the trends and they think about it and they analyze the situation and then they prepare for for the future and again in the future when it comes maybe we are not as prepared as we should have been or maybe we are we are over prepared but it is people say that it is always good to be over prepared than you know under prepared those type of things so think about that so we spoke about ai can write ai can read those type of things look at this artificial intelligence can already see yeah so you guys know that um, uh, facial recognition and those type of tools on your on your mobile phones uh, how you unlock them on your on your um, desktops those type computers you guys know that but let's go a little bit further on that look at this story now this bot judges how much you smile during your job interview right? so again this is not something in the in the future companies are using this this technology so you are sitting in the interview and a bot using artificial intelligence is looking at your fish face facial features facial expressions and from there it is assessing that what is happening what is the breakdown of your voice what is the breakdown of the words you are using, you are using. what is the breakdown of of the facial expressions and those type of things so you can you can look at that higher view h i r e v u e so you can google this later on maybe and see how this company is screening job candidates on around 25000 different data points yeah so think about this and so you guys if if the smile is fake or something like that it can it can it can it can bring that to the attention of the of the interviewer or something like that uh, again although these technologies are being used but they are not perfect yet so i'm not debating that if the if the ai says that your smile is fake it is 100% fake but it is quite quite good like let's say 60 70 75% it is quite good but those type of things you you want to think about it uh, and you guys already know that when you send cv to big companies it is not possible for big companies to go through cvs one by one so there is they use uh, some type of technologies look for keywords in your cv and then from there it picks up a good number of cvs and then maybe a human being is going to go through in detail but if those keywords are missing in your cv then it is going to maybe uh not going to shortlist unless someone really takes time to uh to go through all the cvs but in big companies that is not possible you, you there is one job openings maybe 10000 12000 people are going to apply for it especially when when we are in a world where people can people can apply for job across continents and and so on yeah now think about these things artificial intelligence estimates people's age yes 
So I'm not going to talk about everything in detail, but I'm sure that as you are looking at these slides, you are you are thinking yourself, asking yourself questions, uh, reflecting on these things. Like let's say that you see something like this, you should think that what is the what is the application of this? How this would be applied? So think about this. Uh, you are underage. You are you are 15 year old, but uh, you go to a you go to a bar and you ask for a drink or something like that. And uh, maybe a human being cannot really predict how, how old you are, but using AI, it is going to look at your face and whatever whatever uh, you have taught it through machine learning uh, and other other tools which are under the arm of artificial intelligence. And then from there, it can predict. Uh, that you are you are underage or you are minor or th there are so many applications yes uh, and this is the reliability factor of this technology is 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 quite quite good you can read the details if you are more interested in in this type of technology ai can make personality judgments based on our photos take a moment to to reflect on this and uh, as I was preparing uh, these slides, uh, be rest assured that nothing is fake news in this. Uh, I have confirmed that there is some research, proper research and proper companies and proper universities, researchers are behind this work. And only I have included those things which, which, which can be backed by uh, some type of authenticity. Yes, so think about this. Your picture is there and from there, just looking at your picture, it is going to assess what type of possible personalities you can have. Of course, it cannot exactly tell you what your personality is because it is quite hard even when you are doing some test. And personality is, is something which keeps on changing over a period of time. What is your personality now? It is very likely that uh, some characteristics of your personality would change in next five years, six years. 10 years based on your experiences, based on your exposure and so on. But let, let, me, let me tell you this, the technology can be used to find the best matches in the customer service, dating or online tutoring. So dating, there are some companies, uh, some dating websites which are using this type of technology. You post a picture there and then they make some assessment from there and then they help you find a match there. Um, so think about other options also what other things can be can be done and this is the this is the sci scientific report uh, which uh, which tells us in detail the earlier slide i showed you that it can assess assess uh, assess the personality this is the proper testing and the research is published you can read in detail assessing the big five personality traits using real, real life static facial image static just your picture alone yes these type of things you can you can think about it and this is published in one of the top magazines uh, nature yeah artificial intelligence to monitor behavior of taxi driver yeah so uh, please remember that we are looking at uh, artificial in intelligence under the under the domain of c so first we look at read write and then it is c uh, how it can see and what are the things it can do but look at this new system designed to detect patterns of drowsy, drowsiness or distracted, distracted driving. Uh, there are cameras mounted and it can look at a driver's face and from there, there it can analyze that maybe, maybe there is no certainty of course, just like human judgment, it is, it is judgment. We are as sure as, <laughs> as, uh, we can be sure about something and it might not turn out to be true. That is, that is correct. So same thing with AI. Of course, you can, you should not 100% rely on artificial intelligence. It is just a tool which can help you. So the police officers or the law enforcement agencies, this tool will help them that, okay, maybe this taxi driver is, is a little bit drowsy. So they might want to stop and check and then confirm if the person is drowsy, maybe ask them to stop the car and maybe take a nap for one hour two hour whatever it is uh, and then move on or maybe go home or whatever can be done so think about this how 
think about the applications. Uh, uh, this is very interesting, uh, very interesting. Uh, artificial intelligence screening more accurately uh, determines high risk renter. So again, looking at your picture uh, and looking at the past data, of course, this is how artificial intelligence works, that it, it works on data. So you would put in the pictures of people who did not maybe pay rent on time and so on. And over a period of time, uh, maybe artificial intelligence would help you uh, screen out those type of people. Of course, again, not 100% rely on that, but this is a technology and companies are working on it. Uh, and some, some rental, uh, rental companies are looking into this. Uh, the accuracy is not very high, but it is increasing as we are speaking. So they are working on it. Uh, and it is, a, it is a very good possibility, like, like say in, in next 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, these type of things would become, become norm. Uh, and I'm saying 30, 40 years because we don't know what would be the, what would be the time uh, it would take these type of technologies which I'm talking about or application I'm talking about. But what we can be certain is that these things are going to happen. Don't think that these things will not happen because of course, if there are some things you might be questioning yourself, oh, how that will happen. Because Think about this. Uh, I am joining you from Jamaica and I, we are talking live. You can see me if I turn on my video. I can see you. You can listen to me live. 100 years ago, was it, was it possible? 200 years ago, was it possible? It was not possible. And now it is. The same way, maybe these type of things are, are going to happen. So have, have an open mind about these things, the possibilities and so on. This is quite controversial now. Uh, new AI can guess whether you are gay or straight from, from photograph. And they are giving you the, the test results with up to 91% accuracy, yeah? You can run some Google searches and mo read more uh, in detail. And again, on dating websites, they are uh, using this type of uh, technologies uh, or they are thinking to put into, these put into these technologies, depending on which country you are, because, because and I will touch on this uh, later on, that uh, there are many ethical issues linked with this. Because should we use these type of technologies or not? So now the government policy is going to come up. So maybe let's say government of Belgium, they are going to say, no, 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 this is very private, should not look into the uh, sexual orientation of, of people on dating websites. So we are not going to allow it. So those type of things are going to happen, of course. Uh, but we are saying, is this type of technology they are working on or is it available to some extent? at least to the scientist, yes, it is, yeah. This is very interesting uh, in the, in, in like, uh, what you would be realizing that I'm not specifically talking about one industry, I'm talking about different industry. For example, marine now, uh, you, in, the, in the sea, uh, they are using or uh, they have not started really using it because this is quite recent. If you can see the, the date on this, it is 8th of April this year, this month, uh, earlier, earlier this month, 2021. So they are training AI to count uh, the deep sea uh, bottom fish. And anyone who is interested in the marine life, you would know that uh, the sea is quite an interesting place to look into. There are so many different type of uh, nature living in sea and to distinguish, especially in the deep sea. Between, uh, between different type of fish and then count them accurately. This is quite a task. And uh, you can link it with, uh, with uh, preservation of climate and preservation of nature. You can think about sustainable development goals uh, published by United Nations and so on. Uh, how different countries are very much you know, uh, concerned about environment and then the impact of environment on the sea. And then maybe there will be some type of uh, fish which would uh, which would uh, which would be threatened because of environment or something and you then you you are able to count it which you were not able to do it before ai uh, for a human being to go in deep sea and then count 
that's almost impossible uh, because of uh, our physical um, um, uh, i should say uh, non compatibility is with that not that we cannot we are not able to go in deep sea yes we are but to stay there for a longer period of time and then to count and do these type of things and do this uh, accurately for a longer period of time this is something which may be a little little hard for human beings to do predicting and prevent preventing sports in injuries using ai so this is about predicting so ai can already foresee so it can look at the trends uh, predictive in if you if you would want to look at pre preventive maintenance so for example cars you are of course familiar that in modern cars when you sit in them uh, you they tell you uh, that uh, your uh, your uh, you need to change your uh, brakes you need to change your oil or this is going to happen or that is going to happen and this all of that is preventive maintenance of cars yeah so now using ai you can improve the preventive maintenance across industries and this is a example of sports so for example using ai you can look at the style of a of a sportsman of a sports woman uh, and then see what are the things which maybe they are doing wrong and it is putting more stress on some part of their body and from there they can analyze that if they kept on putting more stress on this part of the body in in whatever sports you are looking it is a possibility that uh, they might injure themselves so those type of things again looking at the data past performance of that sportsman and uh, in the in in that game generally speaking and then sitting with the doctors who are who are professionals in that in that field and the coaches and then together they can help improve the quality of of the fitness of that sportsman and and so on yes uh, ai can hear and understand and speak i will i will go through that i wanted to show you a clip so i'm going to maybe show that later on uh, if we have if we have time but let's continue ai can already smell and this is very interesting smell and now you would be thinking maybe if you are not familiar with this story that how artificial intelligence can be used to smell yeah so ai designed with is a sense of smell to detect illness from human breath yeah so how we breathe what is the what is the quality of our breath uh, because different illnesses uh, have different type of impact on our body and then it impacts our breath and you can read this in detail so ai would look into that breath and then maybe help you understand that what are what are the possible illnesses this person can have yeah so think about this this is quite quite interesting I want I want to take you a little bit deeper on this smell issue because when i was looking at it i don't know about you guys but i found it very interesting about this the smell thing so that the perfume makers that can that cannot smell a thing right now as we are speaking there are companies which are making perfumes without using a human intervention without using human nose they are using artificial intelligence looking at the data sets of and this is how let me tell you a little bit how it how it works uh, they look at look, they look at what is their target market so maybe their target market is 20 years old so then in that in that city or in that location in that country they look at these 20 year old with this uh, financial background if we are going to price our product for 20 euros this perfume we are making for 20 euros euros it is for not 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 very expensive but i don't know how you look at it at 20 euros <laughs> so so in that class what what type of perfumes they like so they would do some surveys and then put in that data and then using artificial intelligence look at the composition of those perfume and from that they will try to make new perfumes which have not been made before trying out different combinations of those perfumes whatever whatever are the things which are used in those perfumes 
and then they make up a new perfume so they don't really need to smell at all and from there they can make a lot of different type of perfumes and then of course they test it in the market and then take uh, feedback from their target target consumers and then they launch the ones which 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 are which which get a favorable review uh, and again there are a lot of stories on this uh, so run a google search on this and try to find out what is what is happening neuromorphic computing chips uh, in your own time run a search on neuromorphic computing chips and they are saying that they they can in the future they can smell different type of I, I told you about diseases but you can think about like what are the applications on this slide you can see explosive narcotics so now you know that we use dogs and those type of animals to find out if there is some drugs in the car or in the aeroplane because of the way they can they can smell uh, but now uh, they are working on neuromorphic computing chips which can smell these type of these type of type of thing so think about how based on whatever we have looked in so far think about what how various industries would be changed and that is the purpose of this presentation the purpose is that you think about what you want to do in your life coming going forward in next 2 years 3 years 4 years 5 years and then you think that how that industry is changing and what skills you should learn now to prepare for that future where even to make perfumes maybe you would not really need a human nose i'm not debating that there will be no humans involved in perfumes yes that is going to be there but think about the possibilities like how the job will become very easy because AI is going to help you find out new combinations of perfumes which the target market likes and then a human being can of course uh the test manager can of course look into those samples and then they can decide which one they want to they want to take it's quite quite interesting to think about think about this artificial intelligence can already touch touch yeah look into this story this fruit picking robot can pick up to 25000 raspberries a day and it could some day replace human workers so i was looking at the numbers i think uh, a human being can collect 15000 i think don't quote me on that do your own research and find out what is the exact number but it is this one is definitely more than how how uh, how how many a human being can pick and how it works is that they when they when the as you you can maybe see this on the screen you can see the picture also below so with that arm robotic arm it is going to sense if the ras raspberry is ripe or not so if it is ripe then it will pick it up yeah and uh, needless to say that it will keep on working uh, for a longer period of time and and so on uh, so think about the application of of this and how various jobs can be disrupted because of this type of technology researchers use neuromorphic chips and electronic skin to give robots a sense of touch it is similar type of story which i just went through like it can it can touch and it can feel a human skin can can be uh, the the characteristics of human skin how we perceive uh, when we touch something we perceive what it is it is hard is it soft what it is and and let me go back on this like it is not just the touch now you combine all the things which we have been sp speaking about so for example we said it can write using ai so maybe it can also write a re report on how many raspberries it picked and which trees have more ripe rice, uh, raspberries and so on and what was the climate of the day and if you can see the see in the picture uh, there is a there is a camera so it can also we also looked at it can it can see so it can also it can it can also uh, the applications are huge uh, so many are coming in my mind but what i want is you to 
think about these things and see what 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 are the thoughts i don't want to influence your thoughts thoughts too much skin think about think about this uh artificial intelligence can already move and uh, i'm sure you guys would be familiar that many companies are using uh, robots in their in their warehouses and many of those jobs are being replaced and amazon is one company which which a lot of people people talk about uh, amazon and how how they use robots in the in their factories and i would i would invite you to make a note and go on youtube and just write amazon warehouse robot just just go, just run a youtube search and see what comes up and go through it these are short clips um too bad i don't have time to show you those type of things in detail but is the starting point and you can see how that industry has already disrupted and how many people have lost the job you can look into uh, how many people have lost jobs because of these technologies and you will be surprised um uh, that the number is uh, of course you know that uh jobs are being uh, replaced but maybe you have not looked at the numbers when you will look at the number statistics you would be alarmed in different countries and and so on but again i don't want to over hype is hype hype this conversation uh, because uh, different countries are moving on ai at different pace some countries are underdeveloped so of course the ai is not there it is not being worked so aggressively there but then there is more room of ai to be incorporated there uh, very quickly uh at a, in a very short period of time uh, so of course there is a debate that you know it will take forever for the underdeveloped countries let's say in in, in not trying to be little africa or anything uh, i love the continent but maybe they have a slower pace than other 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 countries other modern economies for example let's say in europe uh so those that continent is a little bit uh, behind but once the shift comes up it's a possibility that it can just can quickly quickly make the change and and move on because the technology would be there but again i want to say it one more time that no one knows the future uh, per se these are just you know just predictions uh, so with move uh, robots and those things you already know but wanted to sensitize you to this ai co-pilots us military air aircraft for the first time think about this now this is quite technical so uh, so there is going to be a time where just like we have self driving cars and if we go back 30 40 50 years and we tell people oh there will be a time when cars will be driving on their own they would say what nonsense is that and of course Uh, we don't have self driving cars in every country but there are some places where they have successfully implemented and they have ex- ex- they are they are using self driving cars in some of the some of the some of the uh, states or i should say cities they have done a good um, experiment on that and the results was fine in the in the us i'm sure you are aware of the of the of the of the stories those type of things self driving cars so what i'm trying to say is that years ago people would make fun of that but it is now we are seeing some advancement in that of course there are many hindrances in that i'm not saying that the technology is perfect of self driving cars but what i'm trying to say that keep yourself open to next 20 years 30 years 40 years and so on and how you should prepare for for the for the for the upcoming markets and so on so think about this um air force seeks to pit unmanned aircraft with ai against a manned jet fighter yeah so uh these are some projects uh sponsored by governments and a lot of money is involved in this and they are working on these type of things uh because if you if you if you will read a little bit on on this uh, you will find out Uh, it is very expensive to train uh, a human pilot to become um, 
become uh, become a jet fighter it is very expensive and even the selection process is very rigorous not everyone can become a jet fighter uh, it is quite a quite a quite a demanding job uh, mentally physically uh, in all ways it really tests you uh, because of the speed and because of the quick reaction it requires from a from a human being so think about it once ai comes in how the whole industry of wars is going to change whole industry of defense is going to change and so on but think about this um, okay this is some story from from uk um, they are also they have put in 4 million pounds funding uh, you guys are from europe so i thought maybe you would be interested in um, uk and you can look into specific countries if you are interested in some specific country ai can already understand emotions understand emotions and this is this is quite interesting because we were always saying that uh, the technology does not have the empathy and human beings have the empathy and we can understand and technology cannot understand but they are working on this and look at this this application ai knows when you feel lonely when you have the facial expressions which are showing sadness and you are behaving in a way that that is kind of depressing or whatever the ai using its techniques of of its ability to to speak to communicate with you to to see to write uh, to read material online on how people behave when they are lonely coming from x country or whatever it can predict uh, to certain extent that the person might be feeling lonely so think about this the application uh, you have a robot run by ai and it's there at your home and maybe you are you are alone and it can talk a little bit with you and maybe you know Uh, distract you from thinking about negative things or even think about i did not i did not add anything per se linked with covid 19 per se there were so much things which i could have spoken but i thought that we have we have been speaking about covid 19 all the time so let's not speak about that uh, uh, at least at least in 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 our interaction but you can think about this Uh, when people are isolated and so on if they have a companion artificial intelligence uh how 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 it will impact the the life and and so on yeah uh inside facebook suicide algorithm here is how the company uses ai to predict your mental state from your posts so i have already spoken about it but i added this slide over here for another reason and let me show you look at this now it says why facebook suicide algorithm is banned in the eu yeah european union so this is very interesting now so different different countries have different perspective towards ai so if you look at europe generally speaking generally speaking not all countries generally speaking in the europe they are a little bit you know uh, they have a conservative approach towards ai they want to put in all the policies procedures and all those things in place before they put in any type of transformational ai but on the other hand if you look at countries like china because of their big respect to china a uh, phenomenal country how they have uh, how they have progressed in the last you know couple of decades in a short period of time they have really really progressed and uh, they are giving a challenge to the superpower uh, and many people say that it's a possibility that china would become superpower but that is not the that is not what we want to debate here <laughs> yeah so china because of their their government the type of government they have they can they can influence the things in a little little different way uh because they can ask the people to do things in a certain way and because it is not a democracy it can work like that but on the other hand the democratic countries they have to look at the you know the people and what they are thinking and the uh, and whatever you know you might want to call it rights not saying that chinese don't give rights to their people but they give different type of rights 
and uh, uh, and uh, this thing is coming in my mind although i thought i would not want to talk about covid but see how how china was able to uh, take care of covid situation not fully but in a better way than many other countries who are very developed but they have a different type different style of governance uh, they are not very authorit- authoritarian uh, per se so they give their people a little bit of room you can think about those things uh, facebook passes the information along to law enforcement for wellness checks so this is a possibility where where which can be worked in eu because they maybe don't want to put in that technology because you would be looking at people's personal private uh, things which maybe they would not be comfortable in you know uh, uh, sharing with the with the with the company and that would take us to the conversation on data protection and so on uh, uh, but anyways uh, think about think about this debate uh, uh, please run a google search on this uh, project debater artificial intelligence uh, i think one year two year ago um, ibm has run this uh, experiment and uh, there was artificial intelligence debater and then there was a human debater one of the best in the world of course who had won a lot of debating uh, competitions and then there was a competition and of course the human debater won and the ai debater lost but you can you can look into those those type of videos uh, because in the future it is a possibility that the that the technology will improve 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 and uh, think about the think about the possibilities and think about that what would be the skills which which we should we should learn going forward so we can contribute to the to the societies going forward because we want to we want to maximize from these type of technology and artificial intelligence is just one of them it can create uh, companies are using uh, artificial intelligence to design and ge is one of the companies you can look into look into this company and there are many other companies and uh, they are going to cut the product design time to half and they are it's not something in the future they are already uh, doing it uh, and if you can look at the assembly line of any car company going on youtube you can do that just just go on youtube and type assembly line car robots and you will see that there is there is there is literally no no human being and there are robotic arms and they are putting in all the all the all the things in the car windscreen whatever whatever it is they are they are putting in but this one is about about design and design again is something which is linked with creativity so artificial intelligence can look at the data set how the things have been created in the past 20 years 30 years 40 years learn from that and then propose some type of design and then again human beings can come in and it will make their job also easier first ai scripted commercial lexus i'm not going to show it in in the session here but you can run a google search and see the ai uh, made the made the commercial to a to a good extent so look at this this is creative side uh, so anyone who is maybe interested in going into that type of field uh, they need to think about uh, these things uh, this website is uh, quite interesting please take some time to go on this website ai va iva dot ai yeah and uh, there you can listen to free of cost you don't have to pay you can listen to some tunes some music tunes which were made by artificial intelligence so even the composing ai can uh, do that and it is it is doing that so think about that uh, voice clones uh, fake Uh, deep fakes those type of things i'm sure you have seen those type of things on social media uh this is again very interesting company which is creating human human voices uh, exactly like the way i am speaking uh, i would go in there 
and speak uh, like i am i've been speaking and uh, i think i have to speak for 3 minutes 5 minutes something like that for the for the system to understand my voice tone and whatever it is and then it will start speaking and you will not be able to distinguish if it is me who is speaking or ai speaking and again this is not something in future uh, uh i will direct you to the to the videos later on and if you want to investigate anything and something i said which does not make sense to that be rest assured that i have the information to back it up uh so i'm going to direct you at the end of uh, to a website which i maintain and you can look into the videos and so on in detail in your in your own time and and so on so so look into this from deep fakes to facial captures how ai is already changing hollywood and we already spoke about uh, writing its ability to write novels scripts again it is not perfect but what i'm trying to say that they are working on this uh, and the other things which we have been speaking about and there must be many things which which you have in your mind which you know already which which ai is doing and maybe because of time i have not been able to capture them i uh, can think about th those and see what is what is happening in various industry uh create highlights uh for example there is a match uh two hours one hour match and we don't need a human editor to create highlights of the important move moments you just teach the ai how to pick up those things and it learns uh and uh, uh once there is enough data it will start creating highlights it will start create just like it, it its ability to read and uh, uh take and write uh, good stories as i showed you one one example washington post making 850 articles uh in the in the in, in a year or something like that what is that uh, they they read they read similar type of story so if you want to uh, write uh, write an essay on the government structure of of belgium so you would teach ai by exposing it to almost all the articles available online artificial intelligence can very quickly scan through them it is not like human beings we take time to read and then we need time to grasp and then we need time to reflect with ai it is not like that it just reads 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 continue continuously and then from there it will it will learn and so on so I, what i'm trying to say is that uh, there is hardly any industry which which is not being uh, affected affected by by that uh put here for example artificial intelligence uh, how the company is using uh, one of the ways they are using is in the manufacturing of tires yeah so how this happens is that you have ai linked tires in your car and then based on your driving behavior how you cut corners your speeding all of that data is going in and then ai which is fixed in the in the tire it is going to improve the tire based on your driving patterns yes and you can you can read the details here over its lifetime it dispenses a synthetic material inspired by the carbon structure of sp spider silk to alter the composition of the tire adapting it to suit the way the vehicle is driven so as it is driven it is like you know the new tire material is coming in the areas where because of your driving habit it is burned out and and so on quite interesting building artificial intelligence protein uh this is now one thing which um which uh across industries it is going to have some type of impact impact on that uh in healthcare in agriculture energy because proteins are something which are naturally naturally built but then using artificial uh, intelligence artificial proteins are uh, being made uh, and 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 so on uh, i think i am losing the track of time uh, how much how much more time we have is it is it is it is it is it um 
still uh, 30 minutes. We have time oh. till, uh, yeah, still 30 minutes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Artificial intelligence can already learn. Yeah, and based on what we have been saying so far, you should be able to think about that. Uh, and what I really want you to think about is that once AI can learn on its own without the human intervention, Think about the possibilities, what is going to happen. Yeah, take a moment to reflect on this. If the AI can learn on its own without human intervention, right now we need some type of human intervention, although there are a lot of movies where they, they show that AI is learning on, on its own and it is not very far-fetched from the, from the real idea, but, but we need still some time to reach reach maybe some decades to reach at that level but think about the possibility once it start learning on on its own and here is a here is a very interesting mit news uh, i'm sure you guys are familiar with the with this phenomenal university towards artificial intelligence that learns to write code researchers combine deep learning and symbolic uh, reasoning for a more flexible way of teaching computers to program so you can follow these type of researchers and what they are doing. A lot of work they are they are doing on this, and uh, the progress is is quite. If you follow this type of these type of stories, you would see that the progress is quite fast. What you will read today in next six months, you will you will be. If you are not following the new stories, then you will be surprised that oh wow, in six months they have reached there. All right, let's come to more interesting areas now um, and you will be surprised because many times when i'm telling this type of things to my colleagues because i have interest in this field and i read about that many times they they don't know about it and then i direct them to the to the research papers and then they once they read then they say oh yes <laughs> this is quite interesting ai can already read your mind read your mind you would not you would not speak, uh, but it can read your thoughts and then turn into words and images uh, and, and so on. Uh, scientists develop AI that can turn brain activity into text. So what they are, what they are, they link you, they, they link your mind with some computers and then use AI. And then uh, you guys would be familiar that what whatever we are saying and whatever we are feeling and speaking there are certain areas in our in our brain which functions in in certain situations so if if people are reading the brain then just by reading the brain and without listening to what they have to see they can they can they can understand what type of things are going through in their in their mind are they anxious are they worried are they are they happy uh, and uh, and so on? Uh, so now using AI, they can they can they can they can do that. So think about the implications of of this. If you have the if you and there are quite a few uh, quite a few interesting clips on this uh, where uh, let me tell you about the application. Like for example, the person does not have the have the arm. For example, his his arm is lost; it is cut, so there is no arm. And they then they put artificial arm, and then to move that artificial arm, the person has to think that move my finger, which finger to move, and that finger would move. Yes, and you can confirm this by looking into YouTube clips on this on this. This technology is is being used as we are speaking. And many successful things have been happened on that. So just by reading the mind, the artificial arm or finger is going to move. Of course, it is an artificial finger. Of course, it does not have that type of flexibility which a natural human finger has. Those things we are not debating. Uh, but think about the think about the application. It is quite interesting uh, across across the fields. And then AI is being used in very complex human situations, and not in the future. Right now, as we are speaking, people are using AI to help sort out their uh, divorces. 
when this is quite a complex human situation you are getting divorced and you are separating with your with your other partner whatever and i would like you to maybe go on this this app this is if you can see the this uh, below the bold font uh, an online app called amica so go on that that app run a search amica a m i c a amica and run a search and there, there is a app and then see how it works what is happening there yeah may no one go through divorce or anything but <laughs> i'm just you know highlighting these things these things to you uh, i will i will not say that robots can work 24/7 and they will never get tired and those type of things because and those are some of the things which many times you will listen people say that one of the reasons robots and these type of technologies should be incorporated because human beings uh get moody they get tired and ai is not going to get that i'm not going to say that because uh if you read through the through the literature and what are the things happening because of because of the way uh we are working uh, scientists are working on ai and making it more human like they are trying to bring all different type of characteristics of human beings in ai uh so think about this artificial chips benefit from good night sleep because they are learning and they are learning on their own and they are processing a lot a lot a lot of data in a short period of time and then the chips go through a lot of you know uh, hard work and then a little rest time for the restoration it helps the it helps the chips there and i asked you to run some google search on neuromorphic chips earlier uh, please do that later on ai that mimics the brain brain need sleep just like humans study study reveals uh, so these are researchers at los alamos national laboratory in the us and they are working working on these type of things so quite interesting um, and if you are little curious on this let me take you through a little bit the ai become became unstable during long periods of unsupervised learning so when you will take some artificial intel intelligence course you will learn some some things like you know supervised learning and unsupervised learning uh, as it attempt attempted to classify objects using their dictionary definition without having any prior examples to compare them to yeah so they will become a little bit unstable so a little bit of time you can call it sleep time or or downtime it helps so with this context going forward uh what are the thoughts on ai so if i want to share my thoughts they are more close to what i'm reading reading here so salesforce ceo is saying that ai is a new human right new human right just like the right to right to say what we want to say right to life a uh, right to freedom these are you know basic human rights so artificial intelligence i think that people societies governments should look at ai as the new human new human right uh, and this is why i'm trying to say that uh, say this otherwise the world will see another tech divide those with access to ai will be smarter healthier and richer while those without access will be weaker and poor poorer and if you reflect on the things which we went through anyone who has access to ai whatever field they are if you have access to ai in your field and i don't have access to ai it will become hard for me to compete for, with you because of so many things which ai can do and will be able to do in 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 the next decade and and so on so same is with the with the with the countries a country which is going more investing more going more heavily in ai that is going to have some advantage on 
other countries which are maybe spending too much time in policy making and so on now i'm not saying that policy is not important because there are many ethical issues and i want to talk about them quickly uh, in the time i have but if you spend too much time in policy then countries like china countries like usa it will become very hard for europe to compete with those countries because they are just going into that uh, and they are experimenting with so many things and i gave you an example of facebook uh, earlier in my conversation so yes policy making and those things are important but maybe the pace should become a little faster because look at the growth of let's say uh, the research published by china and research published by usa if you combine the research published by these two countries it is far 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 more than if you combine all the research by europe or let me say all the research by rest of the world R look at the statistics go through them and you will be surprised yeah, that what is the what is the difference those countries are far ahead and the dis and the and the and the distance is just going to grow more with time unless a uh, faster action has not been taken but then the problem is that there are different styles of governance different type of people they have different takes on that people are also not agreeing on how ai will transform our lives or or not you are listening to me and with me you are having a different sense you might listen to someone else and they might say different type of things but whatever i showed you these are these are things which can be backed by research and it is your job to make your own point about the this i'm not making any conclusive points for you that ai is going to take over the world and what not i'm not saying that but what i'm saying that whatever career you are going to make you need to think about think about that uh use in banking uh, i thought that maybe some friends would be interested in finance banking so i put in some stories for that firms like morgan stanley are using ai to manage clients money diversification of portfolio which stocks to buy which stocks not to buy all those things uh, because ai can read data and read it maybe with with a better accuracy than a human being it, it can a human being what human being comes up with experience of market because the stock market is not just run on data there are so many other things the external environment what people feel what are the things happening in the society overall what is the direction of the government all those things you the the people who are in in the finance field they learn over a period of time and then they combine it with with the knowledge of which stock to buy and so on so that is that is that is all right but this technology can definitely help amazing ways how mastercard uses ai to stop fraud and reduce false declines so what i'm trying to say is different companies are more and more using ai to improve their services so there cannot be a way my friends that you go through a degree in whatever field you are and in that degree you are not prepared to deal with the future changes in that field whatever it is you need to have some understanding of these things and i am not saying some some friends can say well we are we are we, we don't like maths we don't like science subjects let's say although everyone should try to enjoy them but uh, that's fine if you are not mathematically inclined or you are not in computer science and you don't want to code although everyone should know how to code but let's say that that is not your personality and i totally understand it that is fine there are so many other domains which you can take in ai and be and become future ready uh, looking into go, going forward and i'm going to talk about that uh, in a in a moment ai to become a disruptive force in uk financial industry you can look at the look at the look at the statistics 94% of uk based 
financial service industry decision makers believe that AI has the most potential to revolutionize the sector over the next five years. Yes, uh, ahead, it is AI is ahead of blockchain. You must have heard about that technology 53rd percent and internet of things 24 percent. If you are not familiar with blockchain, if you are not familiar with internet of things, please run Google search whenever you get some, some time. Bankers say AI will separate winners with losers, same type of thing which I have been uh, saying. So that was in banking industry. If you want to look into healthcare, for example, and this is the last industry, and then I want to maybe close and make some other comments, uh, which I was not able to make during the during the presentation, it is 45.2 billion by 2026. Look at the look at the extent, and you can look into the statistics. Whatever industry you are interested in, you can just run some searches on that, familiarize yourself with that industry, and then move from that. Physicians urge hospitals to become artificial intelligence ready. So instead of physicians, you can put whatever field you want to go in, whatever you want to become, surgeons, uh, journalists, video producers, whatever you want to become, whatever is your field, you need to become AI ready. Or if you are not interested in AI, that is also fine. Technologies, overall technologies, you can pick up the technologies of your choice, which excite you which you want to learn about and then look at the application of that technology in your field. Yeah, Artificial intelligence can detect Alzheimer's in brain scan six years before a diagnosis. Six years before. Authentic story. Run a Google search on this. Six years looking at the past data, looking at how people who developed Alzheimer's over the years, how their brain was developing 10 years before they get the, get the disease and so on. Yes, of course, it is not 100%, but it, and some cases you are going to miss also, but look at, the, look at what, what are some of the possibilities in that. AI identifies prostate cancer with near perfect accuracy, same type of things, uh, spot lung cancer before radio radiologist, so AI is doing it before, this, this, this is done by Google and not Western scientists, uh, quite advanced in their field and they were able to spot lung cancer before the radiologist could do it. Yeah, uh, this is quite an interesting. More accurate breast cancers and so on, so what? I'm sure you have gotten the taste of what I'm trying to say that in any, in so many different different areas, uh, skin disease and so on, uh, using AI, how the job of a doctor is going to going to change. So you might want to think if someone is becoming a doctor in the future, how they should prepare for that. What skills would be required? Because most of the things uh, would be would be facilitated by AI. Yeah. Uh, uh, Future can predict future diabetic cases and so on. Yes, uh, this is very interesting because on government level, FDA authorizes marketing of first cardiac ultrasound software that uses AI to guide users. 2020, February 7. This is coming from government website FDA.gov. US government has authorized. FDA has authorized. Yeah, so they are. So these things are happening, and then the look at the implications. It is just like you know there are many apps which you can di di uh, download, and they can help you diagnose what are possible illnesses you might have, and what is the precaution you need to take, and you know what, uh, how you should, you know, whatever, how you should uh, get better. Uh, Using the using the diagnostic diagnostic apps, uh, many apps free of cost available online for basic basic diseases. Yes, like flu and those. What should you have? What if you have any any allergies and so on? Those things are coming up. Any industry you can think of, any industry, 
it is going to have some some impact uh, of of AI eventually. And look at this: a model, a fashion model, Vogue. Yes, they have published this this news. And when you will read in detail, you will you will learn how, what she mean that how her job. So this is apparently this is some job which you might think that oh fashion models yeah, their job is not going to get disruptive, but here a model is saying that. So what I am trying to say that no matter what what job it is, don't think that it will not be. Uh, think about that it can be. Yeah. Well, uh, I would I would I would not dare say what Honorable Musk is saying here. uh but you can read what he is saying in his words if you don't think ai could outsmart you he is using the word of idiot not going to use it but <laughs> this is how it is and this is his logic the people i see being the most wrong about ai are the ones who are very smart because they cannot imagine that a computer could be way smarter than them that is the flaw in their in their logic uh, according to honorable musk um uh, i'm not saying just use ai i've said it multiple times in the presentation but people are predicting and it can be wrong also but it can be right also that about 2062 it's a possibility that ai might match human intelligence uh, it's a controversial topic maybe it will never match it will never maybe some friends are thinking it will never match uh, never match human intelligence but same way 100 years ago 200 years ago when right brothers were doing experiments on flying human beings through aeroplane people were thinking that they are idiots and they do have no sense so we have to make our own judgment on on this the issue is creating machine aligned with human values some something now missing in ai and this is what i really want to talk in the in the remaining talk remaining time Eth eth ethics is ethics is very important to think about ethical values samsung president says we should really worry about ethics as ai moves into your dna ethics because so many uh, ai will be able to do so many things but still it will not be applied because of the issues in morality and ethics so earlier on i was saying that if you are not interested in coding and mathematics and those type of details how to write ai that is also fine you can go into ai from the lens of ethic ethical consideration you can you can become a researcher in uh, how to look at how to how to prepare societies for the role of increased technologies how human beings will work effectively alongside various technologies including ai what are some of the ethical moral challenges and how to deal with them looking at the culture looking at the demographics looking at the style of people how they behave and so on so it is not just it is you have to write ai there are so many other fields which you can take uh, looking looking into uh looking into this this field uh google ceo he is saying that ai needs to be regulated and european union is spending time in regulating it uh which is which is which is very good uh which is very good but again i have said it already uh, we have to have a little faster space uh, faster pace in europe to to be able to uh stay in the in the game at least uh, eu struggles to go from talk to action on artificial intelligence amid fears that regulations could kill the sector or arrive too late i have already spoken about that uh, uh uk government next generation of ai talent to be trained at uk industries this is the this is coming from government website government.uk same in your countries uh, your respective countries if all of you are not from belgium uh, you need to think about uh, these type of things there are many companies who are reskilling their workers and teaching them the concepts of ai and how that is linked with the, with their job field 
companies are investing a lot of money in that one billion in AI project. Uh, Microsoft is investing. Uh, Musk and these slides are there to uh, just make you convinced that these thing is important and governments and top companies are taking interest in that. So there is no reason that you and me should not be interested in that. We should try to try to find some something which is interesting uh, for 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 us in the field of of technologies per se and then AI. Last two slides now. Um, having said all, uh, I don't want you to go away uh, from this presentation thinking that it is too much. Don't feel overwhelmed at all. I went through uh, the material I went through with you in one and a half hours. Usually it is covered in a longer duration of time so people can digest these things. So. Uh, I hope that uh, you will pick up some pointers from this and then maybe do some research and not all of these things, maybe one or two things which excite you and then you will think about that. But anyways, do not fear AI or technologies and don't think that jobs will be displaced and what are you going to do and no matter what you can think of or whatever you are preparing for in your career, that job can be taken by AI because it can write, it can read, it can smell, it can understand human emotions, all of those things which we went through quickly in the last one, one and a half hour. Uh, because as more and more technologies come, the general perception is that jobs will go away. But the reality is that more jobs will be, uh, will be created than than the jobs which are going away. So look at the job landscape here. World Economic Forum, and uh, I trust this is the this is the last slide. Yes. So 97 million more more type of jobs, growing job demands on the upper upper section, and 85 million jobs decreasing job demand. So look at the decreasing job demand. Data entry clerks administrative executive secretaries, accounting, bookkeeping, payroll, clerks, accounting, accountants, and these type of jobs. You can look into the look into this list. You can go on World Economic Forum and uh, run for job landscape. And but more importantly, look at the look at the growing job demands on the top section of, of the blue section. 97 million. Look at that data analyst and analyst. Because AI, all these things, write, read, this is dependent on the data. AI will be as good as the data which is put into creating that. Yeah. So you might want to make a career in data analyst, AI and machine learning specialist, digital marketing and strategy specialist. Look at number four, digital marketing and strategy specialist. You don't have to have a high mathematical background to become digital marketing specialist. You just need to understand what tools you are going to use. Maybe you can have an assistant who is going to run the tools for you, and then you can, you, can, you can work on that strategy. And strategy would look at maybe the how to implement it. What is the strategy of implementing artificial intelligence in the society? And in that, you will be writing documents. And in that, you will be talking about ethics and how different governments are being successful in this field and so on. Yes, so you can look into, look into, look into these things. Uh, there were quite a few, uh, there were quite a few, um, there were quite a few um, uh, videos which I wanted to, wanted to show you, uh, but, uh, I unfortunately uh, the time is not there uh, to show you those things, uh, but I'm going to show you uh, at least one clip, and with that uh, we will we will close. Uh, I would like to keep in touch with you with you guys, and uh, we can exchange emails and so on, and uh, I can direct you to what other things you can look into look into uh, going forward. Uh, but uh, if anyone wants to stay beyond the time and want to have a little conversation or something live, 
I have no problem. I'm available, but I don't know what is the protocol on on your side. Just this two minute, a uh, three minute clip. I want to show and close um, uh, with with you with you guys. Uh, if you can look at this clip, this is just three minute long, and this is a robot, and this is a real real robot. The company has produced this this robot. Of course, this is not for sale yet. Uh, but very soon, companies thinking that they might want to uh, maybe uh, bring it out in the mar in the market. If you, when you, as you are looking at the robot, look at the flexibility. Look at that the robot will be able to read, write, smell all those things which we have been talking about. Have dialogue, have intel intelligent conversation, and all you. If you, if you are a little bit. A uh, uh, little bit kind of uh, not happy with how the robot looks. All you need to do is put the skin on the robot, and uh, it would look like a like a human being. So, with this uh, two three minute clip, uh, we are going to uh, close. Thank you very much. So thank you very much for your very uh, broad uh, overview of the possibilities of AI. It's, it's, it's very huge, it's enormous, and it will impact every, every uh, industry and market. So yes, I think we got your message that we should be prepared and that we should think about the skills that we need in the future and how students can think about the, the possibilities and how it will impact their lives um, but it's amazing the the, the possibilities uh, yeah i will just try to stop the recording